Chaco Valiaba, the founder and chief executive officer and managing director of V Health Tech and V Technologies Incorporated, is recognized in the technology services industry and his significant contributions to education, research, and development, including philanthropy and thought leadership. His accomplishments reflect a deep commitment to innovation, again, social impact, and community advancement. V Health Tech and V Technologies have consistently ranked among the top outsourcing companies globally, with V Health Tech being included in the IAOP Global Outsourcing 100 list for nine consecutive years. Chaco's story is one of unwavering commitment to innovation, education, and community impact. His visionary leadership is unique, blend of business acumen, social responsibility, and groundbreaking technological innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Chaco on his induction into the IAOP Leadership Hall of Fame. His exceptional contributions to the industry are truly remarkable. Chaco. Very good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, well, I was just looking, to, uh, doing some back of the envelope calculations sitting in at the last session uh, and seeing how much the outsourcing industry is. It's about 800 billion. And then I said, okay, how many people work in the outsourcing industry? And I said, it's 33, 33 million people. And then how many people would that then impact as well? It's close to 100, 100 million people. So that's the power of what all you're doing, and it's really remarkable to be here today and inducted in the Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, I remember way back in 2004 uh, when a lady looked at me and said, like, you know, uh, you're the lady, you're the guy, the type of guy who takes away jobs. And I, I said, let me, uh, I said, since you've been a little more provocative, so can I refer to you? And I said, like, you know, the shoes you're wearing is probably made in Italy. Uh, the glasses you're made, uh, wearing is Prada, it's probably made somewhere in Europe. And the bag you're wearing is probably an Italian bag. So I said, if you can switch everything to be truly American, give me a call. And she still hasn't given me a call as yet. <laughs> And, you know, uh, rewinding back uh, in 19 February 4th, 1997, uh, was a traumatic day for me. Uh, I looked up at the newspapers, uh, we were in the headlines, and like, you know, we were having labor problems and communists and, and things like that. I was in the textile industry, and three of my employees got shot, and uh, the police firing, a bit of a political uh, election in the midst of it. Uh, and uh, it was a crisis, like, and I saw a factory go up in smoke because uh, some of the employees lit, lit fire to it. And that I said, okay, I need to get out of this and look at something else. So had I looked at the world, uh, like, you know, uh, as a failure, then I, I wouldn't be here. So I said, let's do something which can transform the world. Uh, and that's how I started looking at uh, because India was through Y2K, like what Kevin was talking about, like, you know, we had a lot of talent available, a lot of bandwidth available. So I said, how do we put this together? And this is way before the word BPO was coined, because I believe that people should stay at home and work at home. Like, you know, today is work from home, that time it was work at home, right? So in those kind of ways, instead of transporting people and body shopping, because that's what was happening. So I said, how can we get on that? And that's, that's how I started. And I got an RFP from Cigna Healthcare, actually, and uh, I'm actually proud that Audrey is here because she's from <laughs> Cigna as well. Uh, and uh, uh, the RFP, I really don't know how I finished that because uh, Audrey heads our governance team and the RFP team today, and it, it would take us about six or eight weeks to put an RFP together. But I actually, it just came to me like a vision, right? And the entire business plan came in, we actually finished the RFP overnight. And I single-handedly handled that. I really don't know how I did it, but 
but uh, uh, that's what kind of ignited my journey towards the outsourcing world. And what started in traditional outsourcing uh, then moved into uh, strategic outsourcing later. And uh, I've been fortunate to have great friends, and a lot of them happen to be in Chicago. So uh, I have one dear friend and a mentor of mine, Mukesh Gangwal, here, who I'd like to recognize because uh, he single handedly taught me how to sell in the US and, uh, uh, and, and then get us into the healthcare world, which, we, which is one of our major verticals. Then I also have another friend, uh, Brad Keeble, who uh, is from Chicago, who did phenomenally well, uh, also helped me around here. Uh, it's a testimonial, this award is actually a testimonial to the 10,000 people who work in the Sonar Group uh, and uh, the 5,000 who work in B Technologies and B Health Tech. Uh, we actually have a flipped organizational chart uh, where all our employees sit on top. And, uh, and and everyone else who supports and the management team at the bottom. So, uh, and a lot of them have micro companies. So uh, we break our company into 20 people and then they manage that. So everyone has is excited to work and things like that. And this award will truly be a great uh, honor for the great work uh, because our employees work day and night. And to my family and friends who don't see me day and night uh, because I keep traveling and my son is here, so. Uh, and uh, then we got into this journey of trying to see, like, you know, what can, what impact does our company do, right? So through this journey of 23 years, then we said that, uh, uh, how can we impact society? And then we started Malipa Foundation and started a school for orphans and, and underprivileged kids who we recruit today. Then we said that, how is our recruitment, right? So because we recruit about 300 graduates a how do we recruit? So my HR team came in and said, we recruit 5% of it of a class. I said, that means you reject 95%. So that's how the whole idea of Hire Me came, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud that Venkat uh, is leading that initiative today, and we've touched about a million lives today in transforming them, and we've generated about 300,000 jobs. Uh, and so through this 24, 23 year journey, I think, uh, uh, we started in, in trying to reduce the cost of healthcare. Uh, that's where we started, and today we're trying to make people healthier. So, uh, that, uh, in terms of risk stratification and, and, and things like that, uh, we're also in the engineering side trying to keep America safe. But because uh, if you see a fire truck in the U.S., it's probably a 33% chance designed by one of our engineers. Uh, and also in terms of smart buildings, uh, trying to do architecture, engineering, and construction. And uh, uh, also the prowess to, from uh, like you know the skills that you get are phenomenal. So and the challenges that our, our team has been taking is phenomenal. So today we make rocket motors. Uh, our company makes rocket motors, uh, which uh, have landed in the moon and and Mars. So thinking back of the day in 1997, I don't think this could have been a reality. But for the hard work and dedication that have been putting together. Uh, I think outsourcing, to conclude, I think outsourcing is the glue which kind of sticks the world together. And I think you are all, uh, because democracies and, and societies which deal with people uh, don't go to war. So you are kind of the, uh, the messiah who's putting all this together. And it's, and it's great that uh, what you do, you continue to do this because in a way you are the messiahs of peace too try to bridge the world around and, uh, and help the world make a better place. And uh, yeah, to conclude the last sentence, I'd say our mission for our company is to globalize success to make lives better. So I'm glad you're doing this and I'm proud and I rededicate myself to do that again. So thank you.